Hey guys, TJ here. Just want to take a few minutes today and show you guys how to install and replace your thermostat with a smart thermostat. This one here is made by Honeywell. It's a T5. I've actually installed several of these in my home and family members. Um, these work great. They're an affordable option. This one here works with Google Assistant, Apple HomeKit, uh, and Alexa. Um, it allows you to set up lots of different programs. Um, you can also do geofencing. Um, which allows you to basically set up so your air will change or the temperatures will change based on your distance from the home. So if you're coming home from work or whatever at the end of the day, um, when you reach a certain perimeter point in driving, let's say five miles out and you pass through that area, it would actually trigger your settings to pop on your air and that sort of thing. So we're gonna show you how to install one of these. Um, we're gonna, this is a version of the installation with uh, if your existing thermostat has the C wire, um, if yours does not, there's a component that comes in the kit for uh, updating your HVAC system with the C-wire. Um, but this one here in particular, it does have the C-wire, so we don't need to use that piece in the kit. So first thing you do though, to get started before we uh, start opening this guy up, is you turn off the power. So let's go ahead and get this started. Okay, now that we have the power turned off, our lights turned off here. Now, some of these, they also usually have a battery backup option. Um, I took the batteries out just so I can make sure that it turned off. So next thing to do is gonna be to pop the plate off. Now, sometimes you have to pop these open and there might be a screw inside. Um, in this case, feel around it and try to figure out. Sometimes there's little clips that pop off the front. So we're gonna check this guy out. And on this one, there's just some two little clips on the bottom. And when we pop those, this whole piece comes right off. We're gonna check out our wiring inside. I do a couple of things. One thing is I usually like to take a picture of the wires to see how they are now. If I had to go back for some reason and reattach this back to the wall, you know, maybe it, the, the new one maybe is defective and I don't know that's so why I run the wall. So whatever the reason is, I wanna take a picture of how it is now versus how I'm wiring it uh, for the new one. So I'm gonna take a little quick shot of this. Um, and then the kit also comes with little tags. So these little tags, let me hold it up there so you can see that. These little tags are all, um, have different letters of the alphabet on here and different codes, and they should correspond with codes that are on your existing diagram here. So you're gonna want to, when this comes off the wall, you're gonna take each of these wires. So here, this is a blue, red, yellow, and so on. And there's a C wire here, R, H, Y, W, G, and so on. I'm gonna peel off the sticker that goes with the right one and tag these wires so I don't, um, confuse myself with what I need for my um, new wire harness that's going on for the new thermostat. One other thing I wanted to just note is that when you're taking the wires off of the terminals here, and this particular model that exists here now, there's what's called a jumper wire between two of the terminals. And this one is a black wire, but it could be different. Um, that's jumping the RC and the RH. On the new thermostat, it actually says in the instructions that you don't need any of the jumper wires. So that's gonna get removed out of the equation. So this little black one. So all we're gonna have to worry about are these other um, five wires and that's it. So the process should go pretty quickly here. Okay, so the old box is off. I'm gonna be putting on the new one. So this new one has a little different of a bracket. Now you're gonna notice the old box had two screws and two anchors here. And so my goal is to put this so that it'll cover it. The hole here though, is a little bit off to the left, closer to the left hand um, old existing anchor. So when I put this on here, uh, I'm gonna feed this through, this harness through there. Okay, and instead of mounting it exactly where the hole is, which would keep this from being able to cover that existing piece there, okay? I'm just gonna slide this as far over to the side here as I can. So that way there, if I can get that over as far as I can go, the new one will cover those existing um, spots. Of course, if it wouldn't cover it, um, then I'd have to pop those off and patch it and, and a little bit of paint. But I think we can move this over enough to get this on there so it'll cover the old holes um, and it'll look nice and clean when we're finished.
now that we have our uh, angers in the wall and this is ready and it's leveled, uh, we just have to wire it up. Wires are all labeled, tells you where to go. And on the bracket that came with it, you're gonna notice that there's all the lettering instructions on here. And it's as simple as just putting those wires where they go. On the very sides here, there's little tabs that pop down and that opens up a small space for the wire to go inside of. So now we're just gonna put these wires in there and we're almost done. All right, the wires are all in and ready to roll. Now we just have to attach the three screws and fasten this to the wall. As you're finishing tightening it up to the wall, I like to just use a hand screwdriver just to make sure you don't over tighten it. Um, you don't want to accidentally crack the housing here on the plate. Um, so it's better to just use a, a hand screwdriver and just gently Make sure it stays nice and even as you make those final adjustments to get it in the right place. All right, we've got the bracket mounted to the wall now. It's nice and tight, everything's straight. Go ahead and close the latch and attach your thermostat. So on the back of the thermostat, there's all these pins, all the holes, it's just gonna line up. And since we aligned it right, we covered our existing holes, click it into place. Looks good. Let's go turn the power back on. All right, everybody, everything's installed now. Powered back on, screen says start setup. We have to go to our device, whether it's iPad or your phone or whatever you're gonna do, Google Play, Apple Store, whatever you need to do, download the Honeywell app, or if it's a Nest or whatever your brand, download the branded app for it. Um, and then you're gonna follow the prompts. Right now it says start setup. We're gonna click on that in the Honeywell app. Um, the first thing you have to do is create your account. So you go through the process and you make your account inside the Honeywell app. Right now it's asking if I wanna use the app to configure the device. I'm gonna say yes. And then back over here in my app, um, there's an option on here that says add new device. So I'm gonna choose the model we have. It says there's a thermostat on the wall. Say yes. Is it displaying a temperature? So right now, it is not. And now it says your thermostat is displaying a network name like below. So now we're gonna take a look at what the thermostat says. So the thermostat on the wall gave us a code. In the app, it asked us if it was displaying a code. I said yes, and then it found it on its own. And it says select the thermostat's network name. So basically the thermostat is pushing on its own network um, for the phone to connect to. So now it says preparing and it's communicating right now to the thermostat. When it's finished, it'll actually take the Wi-Fi settings from the phone, put them into the device. Um, so it's asking which Wi-Fi do I want to connect it to? So I'm going to choose the Wi-Fi I want it to join, and it's going to take the settings right from my device, say next, and it's going to put them into the, the, the item. So now it says it's joining my network, connecting, in the top right corner here, it's flashing um, that it's trying to connect to the Wi-Fi right now. It says connecting. Now it says connected. And then on my phone, it says setup complete. This accessory is joining the network. I say done. Now it says finalizing. Yay. And in just a moment, we'll be able to jump into the app and we can configure a schedule if we wanted to. So it turns on and turns off at certain times. A lot of different options here. It's fantastic, great way to save extra money on your AC when you get into the process of really learning the software and how to um, manipulate your air control. If you have any questions, any comments, shoot me a message, subscribe below for more. Thanks.